every single guest you ask what would they like to see the first thing is the white line this is one area in Gala of which you can see two white lions out of three that are known of out in the wild. Where the lodge is situated, it's a small piece of land known as Flakt Chaseh. This is the area where the white lions were born from and there is a property that's about two kilometers east from our lodge that used to belong to Chris McBride. He's the guy who did the research and wrote the book called The White Lands of Timberbartis. Most of the lands in the reserve, they have the genes of the white lands. This is not albinos like people would think. These are recessive genes. It has to be both male and female that have the genes to have these white lands that we're seeing now being born. The Birmingham Pride appeared in Ngala around 2006 and they came from the property on our neighborhood that belongs to the Birmingham family just on the western side of Kruger. Since then they established that territory in Ngala Reserve. It became a big pride and they split it in two different groups of which the one pride even decided to move further east into the reserve. One male, he bred with some of the lionesses there and then three years ago, one lioness had four cubs. One was a white lion and then that was very exciting for all the guys in the reserve. After so many years, people thinking no longer white lions out in the wild. Unfortunately, we had the Turos male that came in and killed all the scubs. It was very sad for us to see. And then interesting again to see these two males mating with the females to see the outcome. And the Ross males come from the north and that's where exactly the Mashatan pride were. And the Mashatan pride is the original pride where the white lions were born from. So most of the lions have the same bloodline. Lucky enough, one of the males happened to have the genes of the white lions. They were born in the Timbavati Dry River from different females. The young male was born before, he's maybe three or four months older. One day we were sitting in the riverbed, hoping that the mother of the male one would bring them to play in the sand, and all of a sudden we picked up the sound on one of the bushes on the opposite side. The lion is crossing the river and moving the cubs from one side to another. In her mouth, it happened to be that white lion cub, the second one, which was incredible. I watched them when they were still young. We thought they were going to be treated differently, but this young white male was very interesting and incredible because he was even more dominant than the rest. Even now, at carcasses, he'll eat first. And then if you look at him, these lionesses are big females compared to normal size. I'm sure he's got the genes from his mother, of which if you look at the size of his paws, it's about the size of the big gross males. He's big, he's gonna be a, really a big boy. There is one lioness. She's got the white dot on her behind. The other lionesses all have cubs and she doesn't. So she's the one that if you happen to find the sub adults by themselves, it's not only them, it's with her because they are unexperienced. They don't really know 100% what to do. So she's the one that will give them company and hunt together with them. I personally think she's taking them places, more especially she's doing it for the young males. She's just taking them and show them places where to go when the time comes. Interesting thing for us is just to see what's gonna happen towards the next three, four years, because now the big males are starting to push them out. This white young male, he's grown up and he's reached maturity, obviously he's gonna despair. There's two other young males in the pride with him, so obviously he's got company, so if they despair, they'll leave the pride together, possibly gonna move around until they reach maturity, like five, six years. This is when they can go look for their own pride or easily find a territory for themselves. Never know, by the time they reach maturity, Ross males may be gone 
and then they might as well come back in the reserve and claim the territory of which will be a really nice thing. And then hopefully we might see his cubs in the area. The cubs in the white lioness of which that's definitely going to stay within the pride. So let's hope they're going to breed or grow up in this reserve and who knows, we might see more white lions. Always exciting when these females have cubs, even just after lockdown when the Birmingham young lioness had those cubs. Everybody was so excited, we thought there was going to be another one. For me it was a privilege to see these white lions because I've been working in this lodge for just over 30 years now, so I waited that long to see this white land. So.